guys welcome back and I'm having a great time with Jesus today is Wednesday and we're gonna do 365 days of storybook and we're gonna begin and we left off with Noah Ark. now we're gonna go to the flood the rain fell day after day in patty patty and drip 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 inside the ark. the animals stamped or plotted ringer or waddle or snug Noah and Miss Noah fed them and clean up after them and wondered when the rain would stop raining wonder when the rain would stop raining <laughs> the raven that's what a raven looked like there's a tree now the raven says shh listen no more rain noah watched and waited and waited in a little longer then one day he set free a raven to see if it was time to leave the ark the raven opened its wings and flew away but it did not return to the ark genesis 8 and 8 so if you don't have this book you can follow along in your bible so Genesis 8 and 8 through 11 says, Then Noah sent out a dove. She flipped and flapped gently through the blue sky, looking for a place to rest her feet. When she finally returned to Noah, she was carrying a fresh green olive leaf. Noah knew that the water had gone down trees were growing again. So doves are used for a lot of pretty things. Doves was used in the Noah's Ark because it rained and they wanted to know if there were land. So they tried a raven and they tried a dove right there, which is a white and the raven is like a black raven. And so they tried a raven, um, which a dove is used also when God was baptized, the dove it just flew in the sky because it shows love. It shows love. And so when the the raven it didn't find, it, I guess it found a tree. No, it didn't find anything, but the dove did. It came back to Noah with a leaf to let Noah know that there is land. And you guys are finally saved. There's another land because God destroyed the other land. From disobedient and being bad. So make sure you listen to your mom and dad. And honor your mother and your father. Okay. So. Say for instance. These gloves. I love these gloves. They are doggy gloves. And there's the other one. They're really cute. They got a little tongue. I think that's so adorable. They're on both sides. Now remember. You have to keep up with your gloves. If, they're, if you live in the winter time and mommy, put your gloves inside your pocket. Put your socks inside your shoes. And, and at least, you know, your mama, and you could keep up with your socks and your shoes because mama has to buy those things over again. So that's why I was saying to you parents, make sure you're telling the kids the truth about who's purchasing things because this is a new world. And God is ready to come back for his angels. So leaving the ark, Genesis 8 and 15 and 22 was, it was time to leave the ark. When God told Noah to open the door, all the animals returned to the clean, fresh world. God was giving two of them, Noah, thank God for telling him how to build the ark and for keeping them safe from the flood. So it was only eight souls saved by water. So we have to make sure we are making sure our kids are raised up and trained up in a way of God because the child shall lead the way. And the rainbow. So fathers, provoke not your children into wrath. The rainbow is used to show that there will never be another flood to destroy the whole world and leave only eight people. Noah looked up in the sky, and through the clouds, God had made a beautiful rainbow appear. God was very happy with Noah, and I will never destroy the earth by flood again. 
God said, whenever you see this rainbow, remember that I have promised you this. So the rainbow has so many colors. I have a yellow headband and a, this is blue and this is yellow. Yellow and blue is also in the rainbow. There's pink and there's orange and green. So if you pick one of your favorite colors, but colors were designed by God. Okay, so he made light. He made darkness. He made the grass. He made the apples and the vegetables that you have a hard time eating. Just get you a smoothie at the store. Naked Truth is so good. I wish I had one a day. God chooses Abraham. Okay, so Genesis 12 and 1 and 4. A long time after Noah, God spoke to a man named Abraham. It's time to move on, God said. Pack up all your things and I will tell you where to go, Abraham. And his wife Sarah were already old. They didn't know where they were going, but they trusted God. Abraham moved to Cana. Genesis 12 and 5. Abraham had lots of sheep and cattle. He gathered up the tents where he lived and went with his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, his servant, and all his animals away from home. And across the hot, dusty desert, God led them, him to his new home in Cana. A very special blessing, Genesis 12 and 7. The land was made green by water. It was good place to be. Now I will bless you, Abraham, God said. This land, you, Abraham, God said, this land will belong to your children and your children. And Abraham wondered how that could happen when they didn't even or have even one tiny baby. So he wanted a, a baby so bad. So it's, it wasn't in God's plan for him to have a baby yet. Not enough room. Genesis 13 and 5 and 9. Abraham's sheep had a baby. Sheep, his goat, has baby goats. God blessed both Abraham and Lot so much that they couldn't move for animals. Choose anywhere you would like to live. And Abraham told Lot, we'll share the land between us so there is room for us all to be happy. So after the boat and the flood and God was upset with everybody for being naughty, this was the new land they were at. And Abraham wanted a child. He was very lonely for a child. Okay, and remember what happened to Cain and Abel. So make sure you don't fight your brothers and your sisters. Make sure that you keep up with your gloves and your hats and your socks and everything. And help mother out around the house. And God bless you. And remember when you feel discouraged. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yay, remember to say your prayers. One Lord, one faith, one baptism in Jesus' name when you go to sleep, on your knees, and when you eat your smoothies or your vegetables. Try to eat your vegetables. Try to brush your teeth. Try to go to bed on time. God bless you. Yay, thank you, YouTube.